hundred acre wood boasted many natural wonders, but none was more beautiful than a tiny stream running through the forest. This particular stream had a very long way to travel. And by the time it reached the edge of the forest, it had grown up so it was almost a river. Being grown up, it said to itself, there is no hurry. We shall get there someday. Now crossing the river at its most peaceful spot was an old wooden bridge. It was a familiar spot to Winnie the Pooh, for he would often wander there, doing nothing in particular and thinking nothing in particular. But on the most recent of these excursions, something took his mind off of nothing. Hmm, this is a very good fur cone, and something ought to rhyme to it. Think, think, think. Now, fur cones belong in trees, up high with the buzzing bees. But this one I found down on the ground, freed by a gentle breeze. <laughs> I suppose I shall have to find another one. Pooh had every intention of getting another fur cone, but the river was slipping away so peacefully beneath him that he began to slip away with it. That's funny. I dropped it on the other side, and it came out on this side. Hmm. I wonder if it would do it again. I wonder which will come out first. Well, the big one came out first, and the little one came out last, which was what Pooh wanted. I did? Yes, Pooh, and that was the beginning of a game called Pooh Sticks. Which I invented?